Hi guys, Axe here. Time for another vlog. Um, this time I'm just going to go over vape meets. Now, I've been to a couple now. Um, first one was with from organised by one of my uh, local vape uh, vape groups over on Facebook. Uh, last night, I, um, the one I went to was the one from Planet of the Vapes the, for, for Nottingham. Now, vape meets, as an overview, vape meets are a great place to go meet people. Go try stuff, you know, maybe come back with some stuff, have a bit of fun, you know, make friends. You know, meet like meet like light minded people. Um I can't say much more than that. They're a load of fun. Um I took my other half last night. Um she doesn't vape but it she was she, she had she had a bit of a laugh there herself and just yes just just meeting people. Um so yeah you'll you'll get something like a Vendors there. I there's a couple of last night there was a couple of um, juice vendors there. Three juice vendors there, if I remember correctly. Um, one of them being Manabush. Uh, the other two, uh, Plume Blue, I think it was. And I can't remember the other one. Um, and uh, there was a mod maker, and there was a couple of people who worked in vape stores. Uh, you know, and you get you know it's the people who are in the industry, and. You get to meet people, you get to make contacts, you get to try juices, you get to, you know, have ha have a laugh. Um, there's often also a free pile, um, the ones I've been to at least, where people just donate stuff that they don't want anymore. Um, I think the, the pile was pretty much like that last night. Um, there was all sorts of, you know, canthal, there was a set of uh, calipers there as well, for some, some strange reason, which were taken by one of the guys. Um, there was also... Uh, Load of juices, which I th I threw a few in because I've got juices I don't use and I had too high nicotine or I really don't like them. <laughs> Some of them are a bit. Um, I'm not going to go into those ones, um, but you know, those of those got taken. Um, uh, there's also yes, you know, I came back with a few uh, uh, with a load of stuff off the free pile, um, stuff that's like stuff start mixing my own juice which I've actually started uh, ordered all the stuff today um, yeah I've come back with about three or four concentrates um, some a load of syringes um, yeah it's stuff like that I've you know I also came back with a few a few sample bottles of, uh, of juice from Manabush um, the wax a hat shade which I've I have but it's a six which so I can't drip it and um, six now hits me like a truck in the chest um, also quick tip if you're gonna try something uh, uh, from from someone make sure you make sure you're alright with the nicotine content uh, last night um, one of the guys um, fast Eddie off uh, off of Planet of the Vapes uh, <laughs> handed me handed me his heron with 18% uh, milligram juice in 18% milligram really 18% um, to nicotine ju juicing and oh my god my I felt like I've been punched in the chest uh, considering I vape three yeah <laughs> it's one of those things um but yeah I picked up Waxahachie um Mojave Desert I have no idea what that one is I have to look that one up um that this one here the Waxahachie is a gingerbread um and that one and the Ixa Cow Cow is a chocolate the dark chocolate um all the all the Manabush stuff has is has a tobacco base. I don't like tobacco. I don't like tobacco flavors at all. Although with these, it tastes more like a ginger nut or you know sort of a hop nut. It tastes it gives you a nut, nutty taste rather than and then you have the, have the low note of the, of the nuts. Then you have the high taste high 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 note of what, whatever is on top. So you know chocolate, gingerbread, um, whatever that allowed the one is. <laughs> but still, um, you also have. Uh, Various other things. Yeah, I, I, I popped down to Vapor Boutique um, in Sherwood and Nottingham before I went down. Um, spent a, spent about twenty minutes in there, picked some stuff up, uh, picked up a new charger from a uh, battery charger because the one I had was all right, but I wanted something a bit better, you know. I uh, um, and picked up a few, couple of new juices. Got they knew they knew about the about the meat, and I got you know I sort of I picked up some. Juice, but and then I got some got one one given to me, um, which is this one. Totally unlabeled, totally clear. It's a custard. 
normally custard should look like that. Look like you pissed the bottle. Um, <laughs> talking of which, I'll go into that in a moment. Um, but, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, just remember, we something last night, I'll, I'll go into it in a bit. Um, but yeah, this, this is actually a custard. Um, I told them it was custard, but I didn't tell them what else is in there. Um, this is from Vapor Boutique's uh, new line. And they, I think it's called Captain Pugwash. But I was handing it around, just was giving, giving sort of like a sticky nose over that, see what you think it is. You know, just playing games with a little, what do you think this is? You know, it's an unmarked bottle. It's a juice. It's at uh, three milligrams, I think. Uh, three percent, whichever way it is, both is about the same. Um, um, and it's actually starting to go a bit. Um, but... It's, it's like I'm getting this in the early. one thing about juices it becomes a bit like a wine tasting <laughs> if you've joined juices I was just smelling it was like yeah I'm getting this I'm getting that um, but yeah it's yeah, I was playing games and I was like what do you think's in there it's like what do you think that flavour is yeah I was having a bit of fun and sort of this is actually a custard marshmallow kiwi and strawberry which even at this young age hmm Good. Um, yeah, the other, the other other custard here I've got is the Desert Island, which is a clotted cream custard, which is not bad. Uh, but I'm not a big custard fan, but I'm 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 quite liking them. I've got to try that. I'd go through that uh, Desert Island a bit more. But um, yeah, I was playing games with them. This is you know, I know it's a lot. You get it's a lot. Well, join, yeah, try this bit of kit. You know, you get to talk about kit kit as well. It's like you know, I was. Hunting, hunting this, uh, this setup around because you know I can't beat this one flavor and also also remember to take your batteries um, but yeah this gear to try that um, going back to what I was giggling about um, one guy turns up with with his, uh, with his homemade juices they were in medical sample bottles now considering the color of most juices Well, I say you look like you're pissed in a bottle. Yeah, they were that sort of colour. You know, they looked like there's some dodgy piss in the bottle. <laughs> it was, it was rather interesting to say the least. Um, but yeah, it was. <laughs> I can't. One of those things. It's just like you, you. It's. It was just wrong in so many ways. Though no, there was a bit of wrongness going on as well. Um, if you've seen my, the, uh, <laughs> the last living with, that was sort of my sense of humor, and I guess it just got worse. Um, um, yeah. Mm, no, no. Um, but yeah, so sort of, I got, excuse me, I've got a bit of vapor towel here, because I've got a bit of a leak, um, mutation next to a bit of a leaker. Um, and plus I've been over dripping a bit again. Always do it. Um, but, yeah, um, it's the great places to go meet people and have a bit of fun. Um, I know. Uh, it was just oh god, it was uh, yeah, rather rather merry. Um, we all went out for cocktails. So we stayed we stayed in the pub pub where it's, where both these vape meetings I've been to are uh, near this pub that I was vaping. So you know, it gets quite. Quite hazy. Um, I may be able to get hold of a couple of photos. I was going to try and get some video, um, but my phone died. Uh, always the way. Um, although I didn't, I did, I did actually realise I, I had my anchor with me, which is um, an external battery, which I could have charged my phone off of. Uh, but still, <laughs> yeah, these things don't occur to you when you're drinking. Uh, but yeah, we had. Yeah, it's one of those you know, the, the great fun to go to, and you know, it's a, you get to try different bits of kits. Like, here, try this. What, what do you think of this box? What do you think of what do you think of this atomizer? Yeah, you know, it's in the oh god, in the free pile there was a, I think it was an Omega atomizer, um, dropping atomizer. I've never seen anything like it. It had no post holes. It was just like a K fun. It was you know K fun where you have to trap the trap the yes uh, trap the. Wires. We had one of the guys try to <laughs> build on it. It's like um, it took him about forty-five minutes to build on it. It's 
This is one of the guys who works with works in, works in the vape shop and does it every day today. He was sat there. Just, I will get this right. <laughs> you know. And we have, you know, it's, there's lots of fun. So if you get a chance to go, go. Um, they're generally a different, different view. The couple I've been to have been, been in my local pub, one of the local pubs here. Um, it's a, uh, the Salutation Inn on uh, May Mary and in Nottingham. They're, uh, that's a pl- if you go, if you want to vape, go there. In, if you're in Nottingham, go there. You know, it's, and if you like rock rock pubs, and it's a rock and ale pub. So, if you like your, if you like your real ales, like to vape, like your rock music, head there. They don't have don't have a problem with it. You know, uh, the, the actual manager, the first vape meet I went into, um, um, uh, there's a lot of cloud chasers with the not the uh, Nottingham Glassway group. So it was really quite cloudy, and. Um, uh, the manager walks in and is like, "Oh, this is how a pub should be." Like, so you know, it's not it, one of those, one of those places that uh, you can go and not have a problem. Um, I've, you know, I'm I'm quite considerate when it comes comes to uh, people when I'm, when I'm around people. I I try and stealth it, but considering I drink most of the time, it's a little bit difficult. Um, but still, um, there are, you know, you get the different types. You get the you get the big expos. You know, sort of. Um, there's a few going on this year. I know. Um, I, I th- I'm think I'm thinking of possibly going to one. Um, I have the holiday booked off for something else, and it's it's not quite worked out. But it just happens to be on the same weekend, so I may just go down there and, and, have, and just have a look around. Um, you get the big expos. You know, we get all the, all the vendors, and you get to try the juice of it. But um, there's also like you get the vapors and shops. Um, I know. Grey Haze, uh, they're not having one in Nottingham, but they're having one in their King's Heath um, shop over in Birmingham. Uh, I know Vapor Boutique is has had one uh, last year sometime. I think they're maybe planning another one. Um, but yeah, you know, if you go to the, in one of those in the shops, you get you know, or, or one of the big expos, you get a load of competitions. You can win stuff. You know, you, it's a slightly different atmosphere, but you know. From what I've been told, um, Sully over at uh, over at Vapor Boutique was just was just telling telling me about it and uh, what they had last time. They had a load of juices out out on the on the, on the um, counter. They just just to sort of yeah free just drip you know drip or use it all you like, you know buy stuff or whatever. Or they had, they had a few competitions. They had a cloud chasing competition and a couple of other bits and pieces. I know one of the prizes was one of the uh, Yes, uh, Il Pluminasi, uh, five hundred mil bottles. You know, big buck off bottle of of juice. Um, you know, big you know, some sort of cloud chasing juice. Um, they had food on. They had you know, they had they brought in beer. Which, okay, they brought in beer, but they actually bought it in, bought it in and gave it away. Not actually selling it because you have to have a license for that um, over here. So you know they they brought a beer. So like you know you're here you have some beer, have some food. You know and I think that went on from for about five six hours. You know the people just come coming and going. It was from what I gather it was really uh, it sounded really good. I'm hoping they'll do another one. Um, if they do another one, I'll try try and be there because um, I love the shop um, and it's one of the, it's a great place to meet people uh, in the local area. So and. Um, Considering they're doing that, if they do that again, I'm I'm quite happy to sort of go in there and uh, just hang out, which I normally do anyway. But because uh, they're just down the road, so it's not a big issue. Um, if I want to get out of the house, I'll head there. But excuse me, um, excuse me. Oh, really? Um, okay, uh, but still. Yeah, if you go to if you go to a vape meet like that, sort of you got you got the chance to meet people. You got the chance to go to a shop and sort of see what they've got. They has a bit of promotion for them, but it's also uh, a place you can go sort of and have a bit of fun, maybe win something or you know that sort of thing. So I'm um, I'll be I'll po- quite possibly be there if they do one. I'll let you know if they do. Um, if you're in the area, calm down. I'll probably be I'll, I'll try and be there if I can. Depends on my work schedule, but you know. It's one of those things. <laughs> Having to work shifts and in IT is just is knackers me out. But I'll try and be there if I can. If you know, if it means me booking a holiday off, I will, because I want to. I want to have a bit of fun. To be honest with you, 
Uh, but still, it's... Uh... That's another vapor, vapor, vapor boutique one, is Jack Frost. It's a... You don't like menthol? Get one of these. Oh, I don't like menthol, but I really like this. It's menthol, it's a fruit, uh, it's a sort of candy fruit menthol. Really good. Nom, 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 nom. So, but yeah, um, you can't do too much because it really does hit the back of your throat. Um, <coughs> yum, mm, yum. Currently running the Mutation XV1 um, on the Skelly, but but yeah, uh, and it's just you know if you go to a meet, just have a yeah. You know, do it. You know, I would say if you get a chance, just go. You know, just go because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, if you get to try and go to some of the smaller ones because that way you'll be able to get to meet people a bit um, a lot better. Or you know, even with the big expos, you'll you'll go and meet people. But the I would say that the smaller ones are a bit more. I don't like using this word. A bit more intimate. But you know, they, you get to. You get to meet people on a bit more of a personal level, um, rather than being in a big crowd and sort of, you know, just chatting away. Um, yeah, there's usually a bar at the big, the big, big expos, but I'd prefer to be one of the smaller ones or a shop, a shop based one because, you know, you get to get it's a bit, bit more, you know, like it's a bit more personal, a bit, bit more uh, sort of uh, of a community feel. Um, Personally, I, I I think I've never been to one of the big ones, but uh, I think I think I, I think I've said I'm, I'm planning to go, and go down to the, possibly go down to one. Um, but yeah, if you get a chance to go to go to a just go. To be honest with you, it's they're fun. They really are fun. I can't say much more. So until next time, I'll catch you later, guys. Cheers.